I'm racing to go to the CFDA Awards and this dress came so wrinkled, I got it on pickle and so I'm obviously ironing it the only way a girl knows how. So did I ever tell you that my parents lied to me until I was 15 years old? They made up a fake allergy? Yeah. I was born with a twin brother who happened to be deathly allergic to peanuts. You can see where this is going. My parents gave me a metal bracelet that I had to wear that said like, allergic to nuts, deathly allergic. I had to tell everyone I was deathly allergic to nuts. I had to sit at the peanut table all of elementary school. And it wasn't like the cool thing to do. It was like the, oh, those are kind of the weird kids. It was really isolating, the peanut table, and I couldn't have Reese's peanut butter cups. It sucked. And then everything changed. We escaped middle school and elementary school like without many incidents. I think my brother only had to stab his thigh like once with an EpiPen. And I am 15 years old and I'm sitting, literally sitting at my kitchen counter and my mom goes, hey Liv. I'm like, hey, what's up? She goes, do you want some Nutella? I'm like, mom, what? You I am allergic to nuts. I'm definitely allergic to nuts. Like, don't you see my metal bracelet? And literally in the most nonchalant way, this woman goes, oh, we didn't tell you? You were never allergic to nuts. And I'm just sitting there like, what? <laughs> the actual heck? I sat at the peanut table my entire life, wore a metal bracelet, couldn't eat peanuts. And guess what? To this day, I haven't had any peanut butter because it's still like just the thought of it after training myself for so long makes me gag. If you're a twin or if you have a sibling and they're allergic to nuts and you're really competitive, your parents, be careful. They may be lying to you about your allergy. You just don't know it. Or is it just my family? And this is the final look.